So now we're going to start writing our calendar client. Let me first of all um, create a new sheet, um, call it calendar. Uh, okay, and I'm going to have a date. So all the events that we're going to have are going to be on, um, so the start and the finish are going to be the same day. Okay, so I'm going to have the date, and then we're going to have a start time and end time and a title okay so let me just make these a little bit bigger control s to save that and then alt f11 to go to the vba side okay so the calendar sheet i'm going to give it a name sheet calendar <coughs> and then um so module one i'm going to call it mod uh, maps I'm going to insert another uh, module I'm going to call it calendar I'm also going to insert one more module I'm gonna call it main okay so your main will have code that will be shared by all the different services so if we go back to our maps service, what do we have? Okay, so the base URL is going to be shared by all the services. So I'm going to take that out. And I'm actually going to take it to main. I'm going to create a, uh, so I'll say public const and then base URL as string. And I'm going to give it a prefix of G for global. Okay, so when I go back to maps, I think I've accessed, so I'm going to take that one off. Uh, so getting the validated URL string, this is something that will be used by all the services. So I'm going to cut that and paste it in the main module. I think that should be it. What else can we take out? Okay, so I'm actually going to take out this creation of the uh, HTTP object as well so on the main so I'm going to have a function I'll call it create HTTP object okay and as object and then I'll say set create HTTP object equals create object ms xml2 dot xml http and then on my maps I'm going to say set that to create http object okay the reason I've done that is because sometimes some issues arise and we might use a different object um, so in that case for example i can come here in just one place and i add server xml http okay so i don't have to go to like all the different services and change that one by one i've got it all encapsulated in this function here right so what else do we have i think that should be um that should be okay for now so um, we know that we're going to save our calendar Excel file in our Google Drive, okay? And we need to be able to access the Google Drive. So um, if we come to a um, uh, file explorer, um, this is our folder here. If I click on this in, in this white area here on the um, address, I will see the full path, okay? so up to here that will be like the user profile and then after that we have google drive with space and then we have google services this will be our base um, folder okay so i'm going to create a function and in the main module and uh, function get base folder Okay, and that will be as 
string. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a I'm going to use the environ function. So what I will have is okay. Let's let's before we do this, let's um, um, right. So let's see how we can use the environ function. So if I say sub try environ, okay, and then um, dim i as long, and then I will say for i equals one to let's say a hundred next i i want to debug print um, environ and then i so the environ function will give us uh, environment variables okay one of which will be um, uh, the user and so on so let's see let's list all the environment um, variables um, so this is one way of doing it. If we run this, okay, um, we will see that. So there's a lot more than a, uh, a lot less than a hundred. That's why. Okay, so we can see that there are all these um, variables here. The one that we're interested in is this one here, that has the user profile, which is the path. So if I use this user profile okay that will give me that path so I will return or let's say get base folder equals <coughs> environ uh, and what we want is the user profile so as I said environ will take a string or it will take a um, an integer because we know that we're going to pass a string <coughs> we can use a dollar sign just to make things a little bit faster <coughs> excuse me so once we've got that we're going to append it to that and then uh, backslash and then Google Drive and then another backslash and then Google services right so if I come back here and I say uh, debug print get base folder and let me just clear all this and I play that there we go I think that's the right path there okay great so in the next video we're going to start writing the calendar service so there will be something like sub call calendar um, service if you found this video useful please don't forget to hit the like button and i will see you in the next video and also please don't forget to subscribe to my channel okay thank you